incredible shot on him. It's about 214 yards straight downhill, and she pounded him. Went about 50 yards, and there he was. What happens when you think about it? Well, keep counting them as they come up. Is that number 12? How many is there, Mike? Count them. Okay, he's still coming up. Do another head count. <laughs> Sorry, he, he started to go and I think you got him if he's there's only 12. I saw him through my scope, Paul sideways. Yeah. Okay. Did you? No, get Kendra is just going down. Her, her ram is right there in this cut. She made a beautiful shot, 240 yards. 214. Yeah. Or 214. And uh, she tucked it in right behind his shoulder. I can get on the uphill side. That's right. We got the ram we were after, and uh, like I say, she made a spectacular shot on him. Of course, he piled up in a deep, ugly cut, so we're going to have our job cut out of, ahead of us to get him out of here. But uh, wow, dude. Wow. I was trying to see that other ram that was there. You are he was just young. And he looks longer, but I don't think he's any longer. He's just the way he turned and he's thinner. Dude, that ram is absolutely gorgeous. Look at his noodles. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to drag him up? Yeah, we like need that? to drag him and try to at least get him somewhere else. where we can get some good pictures. And drag him up there, we can drag him up here. Yeah. Why don't you get him up to Jim? Hey, Kendra, take a good job. Yeah. Congratulations. Well, I wouldn't have done it without this guy, that guy, this guy, this gal. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Hey, Larry here. All right. <laughs> it's like right where you want to put it. I was worried when the other one started moving, he was going to turn and... Well, I, I told her, I said, you got to kill him now. He's He could leave. Nope. Oh, my gosh. It was absolutely amazing. It couldn't have been... A better hunt. This is day one. <laughs> we did some hiking yesterday, found these guys, came back early this morning to find rain, so that changed our plan a little bit, and we did some pretty serious hiking. <laughs> Your boots are 10 pounds heavier now after walking yeah. on this wet gumbo? <laughs> Yeah, so we're laid up in a pad right below the hillside. We had to move around about, I don't know, probably a quarter mile to where we get on a better, better advantage of them on a ridge. They had us pegged the whole time, knew we were here. And uh, Larry got the spot and scope on them, and Jim had the camera on them, and we decided that this ram probably should go home with us. So. But before all of that, I prayed. <laughs> yeah, Kendra always does the praying. That's yep. a good thing. <laughs> so whatever sheep you have for me, God, that's the one I'll take. And here he is. So he's an impressive ram, older ram. We were looking a little while ago, and he's we're thinking he's at eight, nine range. So he's an older, older ram, but we're we're not overly sure. He might even be older than that, but but I would say probably that eight, nine range. Um, definitely, definitely an older ram and, and was a mature ram out of, there was 12 other rams with him, so he was... Yeah, he was the unlucky 13th. Yeah, he was the <laughs> baker's dozen yesterday, but now he leaves leaves them being a full dozen. So, right on. Anyways, it was, uh, it was awesome. Waited for this a long time. So I'm missing my kids. Yeah. I'm surprised JR isn't here with us. Yeah, the JR kids wanted to be here. Everybody should be here. As they grow up, they, Tim and Michaela they should have be here. to go back to work, and it's a lot harder to get them away. But but they'll appreciate it just as much because it's their mom. <laughs> they expect it out of dad, but mom, they just. <laughs> Carry 
carried you for miles And I gave you my all And together we created An empire to share So now I need you to remember I was there Just watch me fly Underneath the western sky So why?